multiple shower, devour at a crazy rate. Yeah, I whirlwind through cities, influential, scientifical power. My mental violence will shower, devour at a crazy rate. You're tuned in to Above All I Show Giving the scoop and the latest on how the story goes Broadcasting from Vegas in case you didn't know Worldwide Great Commission, that's the gospel Discussing topics of standard is righteous living Bumping them bangers and interviewing different Christians who, who, Who's hot, who's not, does it really matter? It's his hop, non-stop, focus on the ladder Stay tuned to the dial and turn that volume up This faith radio, Jesus is who we lifting up So in your ears, we gon' be here for a minute It's my bro d Road, he bout to come with it Jones. Jones. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Damascus, coming at you from the headquarters. This is His Hot Radio Las Vegas. We're not far from the strip, but we outshine every light on that strip. That's why they call us the light of Christ, because we're shining the light into our city, into all the nations. Hey, I have a great podcast in store for you. Uh, I have uh, a good brother of mine, a powerhouse in the kingdom. Uh, my brother, Lake Davis, he just dropped a book and he is going to share about that today in the show but before we get into that let me go ahead and hit up some of the announcements hey just to let you know man his hot radio make sure you go and download the app it is his hot radio in your app store h i s h o p his hot radio in your app store we are available for the iphone the android and every windows device you can find us there 
Uh, check us out on our website, hishopnation.com as well. And you can also find the His Hop Television Network on the Fire Stick, uh, soon to be on the Roku. Uh, if you want to get with us, <clears throat> uh, we actually have a membership as- association that we uh, set up so that you can actually be a part of the His Hop Nation if you want to uh, learn how to broadcast, even if you want your own radio station, television channel, uh, whatever you got or whatever you want to do, man, we are here to help you and to be a blessing, you know what I mean? And so make sure you guys check us out. Make sure you check out what we're doing as we go forward, y'all. And like I said, man, we have a great show in store for y'all tonight. Uh, my brother Lake Davis, I've been able to uh, uh, share some 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 moments in the trenches. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes when you're serving guides, you're on the mountaintop, and sometimes you got to get in that foxhole. You know, and so I've been able to experience both with my brother Lake as uh, as he comes on. But before we do, I want to introduce my co-host tonight, uh, my wing woman. Uh, she's been holding it down ever since we invited her on the show. So everybody, give it up for our sister Bree. Live. We doing this thing, ain't we? Yep, another night. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> All right. So without any further delay, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our brother Lake Davis to the show. Hey, 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 hey. It feels good, man, to be back in the house. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, you used to be a, a co-host on my show. That's right. That's right. Now Bree sitting in that seat. Right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> she got the personality, though, I'm telling you. Full circle, y'all. Full circle now. Oh, man, it's good. It's good, my brother. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome. Uh, man, there's been a lot going on in your life. A lot going on in the world and everything, man. So why don't you just uh, just catch us up real quick, man? What you been up to lately? Oh man, I have been. Oh goodness, where do I start at, man? So much has, <laughs> <laughs> so much has occurred, man. Within the last, I'll say, uh, what eight nine months or so. You know what I'm saying? So um, where I'm at right now, I'm in a real blessed place right now, man. God has me in a great season. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I would not trade it for nothing. You know, the place that God has me right now. But it was not easy to get here. You know what I'm saying? I had to climb up many hills and, you know, many mountains and jump over many hurdles, you know, uh, to finally be walking in this place. But um, right now, man, I'm working on a number of different things. You know, I'm still dealing with my business. Um, I did launch a, a cleaning business for a brief moment. It was like a test run. You know what I'm saying? And it worked out really good. So um, I do plan on a. Uh, You know, getting back to that, putting things back together with uh, something else, uh, you know, very similar to that. Um, Also, I just got married. I got married. uh, Come on now. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's give a shout out for that. Come on. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out to the missus, y'all. Shout out to my beautiful wife, man. You know what I'm saying? God has definitely blessed me with a queen. You know what I mean? And uh, we are definitely doing our Christ thing right now. And uh, we're still kind of in our honeymoon, you know what I mean, I mode. Bet, you know right? what I'm saying? So, man, just stay know. in it. Just, just hey, permanent, it. permanent honeymoon mode. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, man, That'll be I'm a sorry. happy marriage right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said a uh, happy spouse, happy house. Right? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. We got to keep each other happy. You know what I'm saying? It takes both. Come on. You know what I'm saying? But, man, God has definitely blessed me, man, with a with a good wife, man. And, um, you know, and I'm excited, you know, of the things that. You know, God is uh, bringing before us as we walk that walk this walk together. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's yes, dope, sir. Yes, man. Sir. I have to mention that uh, we had uh, your boy uh, Prophet Sammy Williams on yes, the show sir. like last week, and he gave you a shout out uh, as a newlywed, shouting out your marriage and stuff like that. So I just wanted to. I mean, acknowledge that's a good that. brother, man. That's a good yes. brother. I yes. love uh, Prophet Sammy, man. Shout yes. out to Sammy. That's an Prophet awesome Sammy. man. Shout out. Uh, yes. You know, I got to watch this show. I did get to watch the show. I didn't get to go on live while you guys were on because I was out house hunting, man. We're looking for a house right now. You know what I'm saying? So, that. you know, a good uh, thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. Bless God for that, man. And uh, But I did come and watch it later on. And, hey, man, I loved it. I loved it, man. Singleness. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've been there before, man. Before I got married, look, I was single for five years, right? And Uh, celibate. 
You know what Come I mean? On. Single and celibate, man, for five years, man. Amen. I held on, man, to the hand of the Lord. Come on. You know what I mean? Like like no end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on. You know what I'm saying? To get through that, man. But uh, it was all worth it. You know what I mean? Encourage us, brother, because yes, I'm walking that right now. Hey, I need hey. that encouragement. Hey, man, it's a good thing, brother. It's a good thing. It's all worth it. Like I said, man, it's Amen. all worth it. And it's all about honoring God. You know what I'm saying? With, Absolutely. you know, your singleness, man. And, uh, you know, it's like uh, it's like living like you're married, but you're not. You know what I mean? Would you do some of the things that, you, that you're that you doing um, if you was married? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's really just looking at it like, oh, you know, I'm married to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and I'm my walk and my faith and my relationship is really built and focus on God and and nothing else can come in between that until God brings that one that's going to come and join you you know right. what I mean with it not get in between it but come and join you you know what I'm saying yes. so you know I look at it add to your life not take away that's right that's right okay. man. that's right I learned man. some things man in my singleness man and even after my singleness I learned some things and I say this always find out how they is with their parents do they respect yes. their mom and daddy? You know what I'm saying? How is it with their brothers and sisters? Because that right, right there is going to tell you a lot about who they is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's for free. That's that's for free. <laughs> take now, that, you know, take we, that, take that. we need to do like a, a relationship show. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. We need to do like a relationship show on one of these. Right. Yeah. Nice. Amen. But, bro, we invited you on tonight uh, so that we can talk about this book. You just wrote a book. Uh, this thing is fresh off the press. It's called The Call. You can't forget that name, right? It's <laughs> called The Call. <laughs> Pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, man, we're going to dive into this book and, and just uh, get the background of it and just uh, just want to see, you know what I mean, what this is all about. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. I'm excited. Amen. Amen. So, talk about it. Let's go. Okay. Talk Amen. about the call. What? What's the name meaning? Like, what? Where did it come from? You know, what exactly um, do you want the people to get from the call? Amen. Amen. Well, the the name, the call, and um, it also has a uh, subtitle, which is the life, um, the call, the. Um, the life and preparation of a man called by God. Um, that's the subtitle. And literally it came from when I first um, met the Lord, when I walked into uh, my salvation and God had saved me and delivered me and brought me out of that lifestyle that I was living. And many that may know me know that I came from a lifestyle of crime, pimping, prostitution, drug addiction, um, out in the streets of San Diego. Um, yeah, there is a ghetto out there. I know everybody here in San Diego. And, <laughs> It's not all palm trees and beaches, <laughs> um, but um, coming out of that lifestyle, man, um, you know, at the beginning of my walk, God really began to um, reveal himself to me and he began to reveal his purpose to me. Um, see, I thought when I was coming to the Lord, I was just coming to get off the drugs and I was coming to get away from that lifestyle. I thought it was I was, it was going to be, you know, peaches and cream man. I have the, the house with the picket fence and, you know, it, everything would be great. You know, I have no worries, no problems. Right. But God showed me something different. You know, I, I begin to learn that, you know, when you walk with God, you actually become a soldier um, on the front line. You know what I mean? That you're actually in a war and, and, he, and he builds you and prepares you, you know, for this war. So God began to really um, just begin to reveal his his purpose and, you know, what he's called me to do. And it was up to me to answer that call. You see what I'm saying? Right. As he began to reveal that purpose to me. So um, I chose to say yes to the call. I could have went and did my own thing. You know, and still been sitting and, you know, go to church every Sunday and, you know, do my little, you know, a little bit of ministry here and there. But the call is so much greater than just going to church. You know what I mean? And, Amen. And, and doing a little ministry here and there. It's what did God put on the inside of you? You know what I mean? Because he gives us all gifts. You know what I mean? He gives us all anointings and so on and so forth. Right. So there's something on the inside of us that God has placed that is for his purpose. And I made a decision to answer that call um, to the purpose of God in my life. Um, that was 10 years ago, hmm. you know, so that's where the name, the call came from. And it's literally like, 
God calling you on the phone and it's like pick up the phone you know what I mean because through my process before I came to the Lord he kept calling me and calling me and calling me um, people would put stuff on my door people would hand me stuff that would be like Jesus loves you come to church and you know da 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 right it was just left and right but I kept putting the phone down I kept hanging the phone up on him you see what I mean but it wasn't until I was laid up in a hospital bed man um, you right. know after ignoring him over and over again it was like he was literally trying to trying to warn me or, or trying to change the direction that I was going in um, before I even got to that place but it took me man to really hit my head hard to really fall rock bottom you know to finally say yes you know to the Lord and to that call so I decided um, after you know some years um, you know um, it just dropped in my spirit I guess I could say that or you know the Holy, Holy Ghost just began to really speak to me and showed me this book and to be honest, man, I did not graduate from high school. I was never a writer. I was never a reader. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, when you come into the Lord, man, those hidden gifts and talents that he's given you, they will begin right. to spring forth. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm yes. saying? So, you know, there was a lot that was trying to talk me out of writing a book because it was like, man, you didn't even graduate high school. Right. How you going to write a book? You don't even know how to write an essay. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> come on. how you going to write a book? But you know what? I God prayed can on do it. it. Yes, he can. I, I yes. prayed about it. And, you know, and I did a little research and a little studying here and there. And, you know, and I just, you know, allowed the Holy Spirit, man, to just lead me, you know, and, and release what God wanted me to release. And I'll tell you more than anything, man, the book brought me healing and therapy. I, you yes, know what I mean? As yes, I wrote down yes. my life in this book, man, I was being healed at the same time. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Bless God. Amen. Glory man, to God, bro. Yeah. That's nice. Well, let me that's jump nice. in here real quick, man. I need to ask you, what can the readers expect when they read this book? Wow. Um, well, what you can expect when you read the book is to identify um, certain areas in your life from what I experienced in my life. I believe that um, we all go through things because somebody else is going to go through the same thing that we went through and that we come out of. Amen. You see what I'm saying? So I, I took the experiences in my life and I put them on the paper and I and I shared um, you know just these different um, examples of how God had brought me out and God's word concerning this situation even when I was in my darkest days and my sinful ways you know what I mean and what they're gonna get from that is they're gonna see a better way you know what I mean they're gonna see that there is hope you see what I mean if you are dealing with a drug addiction if you are you know dealing with abandonment issues if you are you know dealing with the fact that you didn't you know you didn't get the experience um you know having a dad in your life or you know what i mean and so on and so forth right um if you didn't get to experiencing that or you went through some of these tragic um situations that there is still light there is still hope for you it does not have to things do not have to stay the same you see what i mean that there is change you know what i mean down the line you know what i mean and that's what you're gonna get you know when you read the call and i always say if you got a a a, a cousin a nephew a little brother somebody that you know is like out in the streets you know um doing a bunch of nonsense or you know or, or somebody that's just struggling whether it's you know um, um a, a addiction or whether it's you know suicidal tendencies whatever it may be this is the book to get them you know what i mean because it's going to yeah. minister and speak yes. to that part of their lives and let them see a man like myself that was able to escape that you see what i'm saying and come into something so much more greater you know what i mean so you know what you're going to get out of the call is you're going to get um you're going to get hope you're going to get um nice. to 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 see and experience transformation My whole system just shut down over here. Oh man, what? <laughs> I know, just right in the. 
They said there wasn't enough uh, memory. That's never happened before. Oh, man. Are we still streaming? No. Everything just oh, okay. shut down. So that's why I stopped. It was wow. flowing good, man. Everything was flowing good. Hold on. Let me see what. Let me see what's cracking, man. This, this is crazy. It's telling me that. I used up all the memory. That when you're streaming, you're not using memory. Wow. On your computer? <laughs> what in the world? Wow. Uh, let me see. Right. <laughs> no, <huh? laughs> wow. I got a hard disk too. Ain't that something? That's crazy. I was like, all right, before she gets into it, let me go ahead and stop her because ain't nobody watching right now. Okay, let me see if I can get this back on. Man. That is crazy. Come on, God, have your way. Yeah, the stream, everything went dark. Mm. Is it, what's it doing on the podcast? It's just it's paused. Just paused okay. That's when you know you're doing something right when stuff like this happens. Right. Wow, giving God the glory let him get the glory we're giving him the glory <laughs> <laughs> we give him the glory you've seen the phone booth right the phone booth mm -hmm. the movie oh yeah good yeah. cause I'm asking questions <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time but yeah like Superman. I'm in the phone booth. Uh, I'm about to spit some bars and raise the roof. Hey, you need to uh, do a, uh, when you were saying it ain't palm trees and beaches, you need to do a song. Palm trees and beaches. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Hey, that's gonna be hard. Uh, <laughs> palm trees and beaches. Ah. Uh, it ain't palm trees and beaches. Better yet, it's hard heads and leeches. Huh. <laughs> 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 he said hard heads and leeches. Hard heads and leeches. Uh, <laughs> everybody trying to reach it. Man, I gotta preach it. Hit the block hard. Homie, now I'ma teach it. Nah, All this right. ain't religion. Let's try it again. I'm gonna start streaming. We're just gonna go right back into it. So we left off. Uh, Bree was asking a question. Okay. Okay. All right, everyone. We are back. We are back. We just uh, experienced some some issues, but we're back. Right back into the flow. Okay, Sister Bree, you're asking Lake a, day, uh, a question. Yes, yes, yes. I do want to ask a question. Um, it's been on my heart ever since I seen the cover of the book. So just real quick, if y'all have not seen the cover of the book, it is a phone booth on the book, and so immediately what spoke uh, or what sparked my attention was uh the phone book the phone booth so <laughs> i started thinking about this movie called the phone booth and i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all seen this movie and so um it's kind of seemed a little scary to read in this to read the book right i'm like okay i gotta get this book to see what he's talking about because when i saw the phone booth it was you know it was like a on the opposite end of the call was a threat you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like this man that was, you know, telling him he better do this and do that, you know. And it was jeopardizing, you know, 
his identity it was jeopardizing you know his um falsehood of who he really was but he was trying to bring the truth but just in a, a wrongful way you know like an evil spiteful way and so the man was kind of you know scared to you know open uh pick up the phone and you know do the things that he told him to do so lake with that being said <laughs> i just want clarity you know for the for the people you know what i'm saying because you're saying all these good things about you know what the call is and everything mm -hmm. so i just want to clarify that the call from god is not a threat right because oh, you were man. saying when you you know you you kept running from it mm -hmm. but then Amen. what did you find out when you picked up that call you know Come you on. found out that it was not that threat that we Come think it is you know what i'm saying so explain that just a little bit and give clarity to the people that's right Amen, amen. Well, the phone booth, you know, um, the phone booth is a place where you go to answer the call. You know what I mean? So the phone booth can be your prayer closet. It can be, you know, on your knees, you know, um, praying nice. before the Lord. The phone booth can be when you, uh, you know, step into that sanctuary, that church for the first time and you answer that altar call. You nice. know what I mean? The phone booth is the place where you go to answer the call. You see what I'm saying? And it's something else because I, I put the phone booth there. I'm a graphic designer, so I did design the cover myself. Nice um, shout out. All glory to God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Amen. Um so I put the phone booth there in the in a, in like the middle of a road. So it's like a road that's out in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? And we know a phone booth is like when you need help. You know what I mean? You can go to the phone booth and make a phone call. Right. You okay. know, as well. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of different symbolizations, you know what I mean, when it comes to the phone booth. But you're right. A lot of times um, people think when it comes to God that it's scary or something to be feared or, you know what I mean? Um, it's something that, you know, is is something that is going to be more of a burden to you right. than more of a blessing to you. Um, mm. I had that kind of mindset before I came to God. That's why I was running from it. And I could tell you one of the things that um, I knew before I got saved was that if I was to come to God, I was going to have to change my life. You know what I mean? And at the time, I didn't want to change. You know, I wanted to stay in my sin. I enjoyed the lifestyle I was living. I enjoyed the partying and making the money and all the women. And, you know, I enjoyed that. So right. I didn't want to come to God because I knew the threat was you got to leave. Amen. You got to leave, you gotta leave all that behind. You know you gotta, what I mean? You got to tell the truth. Right, Amen. right, right. You got to, you know, now now you're going to have to, like, learn how to be transparent. Now you're going to, you know, have to learn how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? And right. that child in me didn't want that. I still wanted to, you know, embrace the childish things, you know, the, you know, that, that, that whole lifestyle and that false identity that I was carrying. Right. Um, but lo and behold, when I answered the call. I saw the truth and the reality, the reality of how imperative it, it was for me to answer that call because the call is what revealed to me my true identity. Right. You Amen. see what I mean? And I'm, and I'm pretty sure it gave you much peace. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just lifting that burden of the falsehood and, you know, everything that you were dealing with growing up being that mature man. Um, just like, you know, similar to the movie, you know, he thought, you know, he's going to lose his wife and everything. But actually, his wife was more loving, you know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. to have him alive, you know, after all that was going on. Um, and she accepted all the, you know, his brokenness. He, she accepted all the lies and everything, you know, because now I can see who you really are. You know what I'm saying? And I still love you. And that's so that's right. kind of like father, you know? Come on, come on now. That's exactly how the Lord is. And and you know what? For those that are listening or that may listen, um, that have that misconception about God, you know yes. what I mean? He's not uh, walking around with a belt, you know what I mean? Following right. you around, waiting to whoop you. Amen. You know what I'm come saying? On, that is on. a false misconception. Yes. Um, God is a father. And any father wants nothing but the best for the children. Exactly. And let me say this. He's a healthy father. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. He's, yeah, a, he's yeah, a healthy yeah. father. He has a he has a he has a healthy mind. You know what I mean? So you know everything when it comes to God is good. When it yes. comes to His children, He wants nothing but the best for His children, you, and He's gonna do nothing but the best for you. Um, does God chastise His children? Yes, He does, like any other father would. Yes. You hear what I'm saying? He will correct us when we need correction. But God is not walking around um, looking forward to whooping us and beating us every single time we make a simple mistake. You see what I mean? The exactly. Bible says, man, a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. You hear what I'm saying? Right. So there's redemption. There's forgiveness in Christ. But the Bible also says because of that, 
don't don't take advantage exactly. you know what i mean of it don't take advantage so there's a respect there's a there's a respect there's a honor there's a reverence right there's a fear you know what i mean a righteous fear a, a good fear that we should show um to god and even our earthly fathers you see what i'm saying we should respect our earthly fathers yes. you know what i mean so just as we respect our earthly fathers we should respect god even the more you Absolutely. know what i mean and i think that's the misconception where a lot of people that you know don't really understand the bible and may have heard this and heard that they don't realize that god is a father and you have to be able to see him as your dad you know what i mean as your poppy as your daddy you know what i'm saying that Amen. loves you and wants to do nothing but see you win you hear what i mean Come and on. since i've been with the lord that's what he's been doing he's been standing behind me you know what i mean the whole time yes and he's helped me get to where i am right now i can look back 10 years you hear what i'm saying and and it blows me away right. to say to to look at where i'm at right now and and the things that i experienced and god has allowed me to do that i never thought i would be able to do because of the environment and because of where i came from you see what i mean that's a good father Hey, hashtag started from the bottom. Now we here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good, good father. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bro, I'm going to uh, ask you another question about about your book here. Tell us about your process while you were writing the book. Oh man, it wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't a. It wasn't just. It wasn't just smooth selling for me, at least, you know, um, writing this book. It was a challenge, um, you know, in the process of it all. And even in the process of it all, I was going through the things that I was writing about. You see what I mean? So this book was being written as I was being processed, you know, and I'm still being processed. But there's a level um, that I was being processed through. Um, and I pray that I will never have to experience those things again. I believe I passed that. I, I matured past all that and I would never have to see those. But this is like a monument. You know what I mean? This is like, you know, a, a, a landmine that like is a reminder. You know what I mean? Like, look, this is the things that you went through and experienced and I brought you out of it. You know what I mean? So the process was challenging because as I was writing this book, um, I was getting therapy at the same time. I was being healed at the same time. I had to revisit some old places places and some places that I didn't even know was tender still mm. you see what I mean Amen. so just imagine you're writing these things and God is bringing all this stuff to remembrance of your childhood and you know certain things that you experience and then he's giving you scriptures to back it up mm. you know what I mean and scriptures to reveal what, what was really going on and you know what he says and how he feels about it you know what I mean so it touched a lot of tender places in me that I didn't know was still tender right. you know what I mean so it was a transformation um, process as well as a as a as a challenge um you know mentally and emotionally um as i was writing this book and i'm telling you the attacks and the things that happened while i was writing this book i mean from my computer being threatened to be destroyed you know what i'm saying wow. you know and you know just a, a a lot of a lot of uh um you know just uh harsh conditions i'll say it like that on what's happening you know during the process of writing this book it seemed like whenever i got on a good one and begin to write and begin to get into Something. it all hell right. just started to break loose wow. you know what i'm saying i said man <laughs> god you know whatever you're gonna do with this book or whatever this book is doing in me the devil don't want it to happen sure. you know what i mean so that gave me the feel to even push harder you know what I mean? Because I've learned that whenever stuff really starts to try to hinder and push back and fight back against what God is ordering you to do, calling you to do, that's because there's great purpose attached to it. Exactly. You hear what I'm saying? So that should exactly. give us feel, you know what I mean, to yes. push even harder. Push. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Nice. Yeah. I know that's right, brother. Amen. So what would you say to someone who has a passion or desire, they think God may be calling them to write a book? How would you encourage them? Oh man, I would say, I would say this, I would say this. Do not reject, do not walk away, do not push away the book that God is calling you to write. Um, Amen. Even if it's books, if it's poems, um, whatever material it is that God is telling you to write, if He's telling you to be a blogger, whatever it is He is telling you to write, yes. don't push away from that. Press into it and do not be discouraged. Uh, maybe you feel like you're not talented enough. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough education. Maybe you feel like you don't really know where to start. Mm -hmm. um, I'm telling you right now, if you would just trust God and pray and ask God and listen 
and let God lead you in writing your book, writing your manuscripts. The Father will show you step by step on what to write, how to write, how to say this and how to say this. And then he'll position yes, he you with people that will help you as well. You see what I'm saying? So I say, don't let go of the dream. Don't let go of the thought. Don't let go of what God is placing in your heart to do because the book is not just for you. Right. You see what I mean? That it's part. for somebody else. And that's the, that's the, that's the blessing out of it all you know what i mean you have an opportunity to share your life to share your challenges to share whatever knowledge god has given you right um and understanding and wisdom with somebody else that can help somebody else um grow spiritually that can help somebody else um in their deliverance that can help somebody in their salvation and in their knowledge and understanding of the lord so look that is a a, a, a an amazing um call that god has given you and know this that your book it can touch people all around the world. And the greater part is that when you die, your words are still speaking. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. You, right. Your voice is still speaking. Right. You know what I mean? When you in the grave. You know what I mean? So I, I encourage whoever that is, you know, right now that God has placed on your heart. You know what I mean? To, to begin to write your book, whether it's a prayer book, whether it's a book about spiritual, whatever it is that God has given you. Yes. You know what I mean? Launch out and do it. Be bold. Be bold. Be 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 courageous. You know what I mean. And put the pen to the paper and let the Holy Ghost write through you, man. Right. You, you you're Let gonna enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's that's nice. good. Good stuff. Good stuff, y'all. Nice. Okay, we're actually going to uh, transition the show. This is uh, going to be the second half of the show. Uh, of course, we're gonna promote and talk about this book this is i know this book is uh amazing i haven't read it yet brother but i oh, am going to read it i gotta read it yeah i gotta read it i gotta read it i know <laughs> i was gonna cheat right i was gonna read the back of it before the show and be like yeah i read it bro like, you know, i love it i love chapter seven you know what i mean i was like nah i gotta walk in yeah. integrity you know what i mean but, so so yeah so tonight the topic um, is part two of what we started uh, last week, last Monday. And the topic is forgiveness. And I think that, uh, the first of all, I think that forgiveness is dripping all over this book. Yes. Um, you know what I mean? I think it's tying in. Like the Lord is just uh, tying this whole uh, broadcast together. Absolutely. And I believe that forgiveness is a topic that we're going to be dealing with until we leave this earth right you know what i mean we're going to be uh forgiving people probably like on a daily basis so we're going to go ahead and let sister Bree go ahead you got the floor talk to us about forgiveness all right nice so i am excited this is part two we're going to continue on forgiveness and transformation just like d said we are definitely going to be uh, forgiving, you know, all our lives. But I definitely want to let you know that you're also going to be transforming all your lives. That's the goal, right? Amen. The more we transform, the more we are God-like, the more we get closer to God, and the more we fulfill, you know, who we are and who God created us to be. So it's definitely that transformation that is also key, too. And that brings... Um, you know, a uh, question to my mind because earlier Lake was talking about transformation, you know, and, and, you know, how the process caused him to transform. And with the forgiveness side of things, I do want to talk about how um, a lot of times in the self transformation process, you got to forgive yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times Come we focus uh, forgiveness on the other person, you know, and we think, and that's another reason why we don't forgive is because we have the other person in mind, you know, and it's like, nah, they hurt me. They did this. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, they don't deserve to be forgiven. But really, um, like we were talking about last week, forgiveness is really for you to heal. Forgiveness is really for you to get closer to God. You know what I'm saying? Because they sleep in that night for the most part. Right. Um, and so, Amen. It's a lot of times also, you know what I'm saying? Um, when God, puts that um, target on us like no let me show you your heart you need to forgive for you and let me show you why you need to forgive because it's eating you up mm. so um he does that 
which is a great thing and so I just want to talk about how the process of you you know and even going through what you've been through and even writing the book and how you were transformed in that you know did you have to uh, forgive yourself was there a point where God put that spotlight on you and said okay yeah you you know all this was going on and these people hurt you and did this and did that but what about you you know what about the things that you did or, or how did how about the things that offended me you know what I'm saying based mm -hmm. on that um, and then you know how were you able to do that and what uh, helped you along the way wow that's real good because um, there was definitely moments where the spotlight was on me and I had to definitely um, deal with the unforgiveness that I had yes. towards myself you know what I mean and all the mistakes and failures that I did um, and you know deal with the resentment you know what I mean because it was there yes. you know when I came into the Lord there was people that I had ran over and I misused and mistreated you know what I mean and I had to forgive them yes. and I had to ask them to forgive me and then I had to forgive myself you know what I mean for right. what I did to other people um, because there's something else when you read the Word of God um, it really deals with the inner man. It deals with you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it reveals a lot of stuff that isn't within you. So when I begin to read the word of God, it just highlighted a lot of stuff within me. And I said, oh, God, I got to get right. I got to get this right. Um, the amazing part is I didn't really have a preacher or anybody telling me, you know, um, you got to do this. You got to do this. It was more so just the word of God that was really dealing with me and had me call people up and say, you know what, um, can you can you please forgive me for this? You know what right. I mean? I, I'm sorry. You know, I wasn't in the right mind. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I did this and I did this to you. You know, even some of the women that I had dated and, you know what I mean, and that I took advantage of, you know, um, I had reached out to them and asked them to forgive me. And, um, you know, that was all the beginning of me learning how to love myself. You hear mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Self-love wow. is so important wow. when it yes. comes to forgiveness and forgiving yourself. Because the Bible says um, to love others as you, lo as you love yourself. Exactly. You hear what I'm saying? So if you have a problem loving others correctly, it's a big sign that you may not know how to love yourself correctly. Exactly. You hear what I'm saying? Because you can only give out what you have. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, part of forgiving myself was me learning how to love myself and learning... Um, how God feels about me and how he sees me in spite of what I had did wrong and my failures and all my falls and everything. And that allowed me um, to forgive myself and then at the same time to ask others to forgive me. You know what I mean? Right. For I went wrong. You know right. what I'm saying? Because we can point the finger at people real exactly. easy all day long. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then when God puts that mirror up in front of you, right? that's where your maturity, you know what I mean, is going to be tested, revealed. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. For sure. For mm -hmm. sure. Absolutely. And, and even like you said, you know, um, through that process, you know, you're going to have to face it. You're going to have to face the things that you've done, the things that, you know, were not so... Uh, good you know that you did and you know bad judgments and different things like that and I also like um, how God just reveals you know through that process the vulnerability you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying because a lot of times we get into that position where you know we're vulnerable vulnerable I'm sorry mm -hmm. and Amen. it you know exposes you know not only the sin but it exposes who God intended you to be you know Come what I'm on. saying and so through that um, and I know a lot of times we try to run from that because, you know, I've done that many a times because I just didn't want to face like, uh, you know, no, I, 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 that wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. That was kind of ugly or, or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but but through that and, and being brave and courageous, like you were speaking about earlier, you're able to really see, like, like I said, God's love for you. You're able to really see God's intent for your life and to see how many, you know, people God really wants you to reach, which is also, it all ties back into what we were talking about earlier. You know, write that book. Do what you, you know, God is calling you to do. Answer the call because it's not just for you, you know. Answer the call of forgiveness. It's not just for you. You know what I'm saying? You're healing right. yourself, but I want to show you how I want you to reach the nations. You know what I'm saying? I want to show you how you have authority and power to affect others and bring them up and bring them out. You know what I'm saying? So I do love that. I absolutely. I love that. Um, and I just want to say um, to you, like, like congratulations for being able to do that because it's a hard process. It's a hard um, thing sometimes to see that mirror in your face and, and you got to face all that, mm. you know, disgust yeah. and, and everything Tell else. That. Oh, um, yeah. So kudos, kudos for sure, Amen. for sure. Amen. Um, Amen. Another God. question that I do have um, about self transformation and forgiveness. Um, let's bring it back to the the love side of things. You know what I'm saying? How was your love, you know, affected 
um, through that process and how are you able to love more now and then let you know even with your new family you know what I'm saying how are you able to uh, and even you know your ex and everything how are you able to use yeah. love and use that love that God showed you through the whole process because you know what I'm saying like you said God's a good father mm -hmm. you may have been chastised and everything but God put you back together you know what I'm saying That's God right. God healed you and everything and he wants you to use that same love to heal other relationships and to you know preserve other relationships so how are you using that um, in your life now amen amen um, well the Bible um, tells us um, in all that we do you know to do it in love you Absolutely. know what I mean and it's all gonna start you know um, on your knees and in your prayer time in your personal relationship with right. the Lord um, I truly believe the only way um, I've been able to get to where I'm at right now in my healing um, because God is still healing me. I'm not saying I'm totally healed. You know, God is still healing me from things. Right. You know, on a day-to-day -day basis. The Bible says examine yourself. You know what I mean? So let exactly. every man examine himself. Yes. So, you know, we ought to be examining ourselves on a consistent basis. It's just not a one-time thing. Right. You know what I mean? So God is still healing me. But um, I just made a decision to... To really um, press into the presence and in my prayer time and, you know, seeking God and, and allowing him to scrape away, man, all the residue, you know what I mean, wow, yes. of unforgiveness and of hurt and of the pain, residue, right? you know what I mean? Um, I'm not afraid to cry, you know, because I know that crying releases, that's deliverance, exactly. you know what I mean? So sometimes I get into the presence of the Lord and, you know, I'll weep before God. You know, there was a time that, you know, I would weep before God almost all the time I got into a place of deep prayer because God was cleansing me you know what I mean he was healing me yes. you know so that has allowed me to continuously walk in love and not allow my the, the bitterness you know what I mean that I was carrying at the time be worn on my sleeve because I truly believe that um, until you have truly forgiven and are able to walk in that um, forgiveness um, you really cannot be as impactful as you would be you know what I mean because exactly. you go around bleeding on everybody right. you know what I'm saying and and, Amen. and, and, and you will have that in you and what's in you is what's gonna come out you see what I'm saying so if there's exactly. bitterness and unforgiveness in you that's eventually gonna come out you right. see what I'm saying so I, I've just uh, um, I've learned and I've embraced the fact that you know I cannot do it without a consistent prayer life you know what i mean Amen. i cannot do it without you know um you know a consistent um meditating on my word and you know and and keeping myself you know grounded in the things of god you hear what i'm saying because god has a way a way of of turning and 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 changing our hearts and allowing us to see you know what i mean um even the person that may have hurt you you know what i mean from a place of compassion right. um, the bible tells us that we are to pray for our enemies exactly. you hear what i'm saying and there's a reason for that because the more you pray for somebody the more compassionate you get for them you begin to take on for them so I say this if you're having an issue with forgiving somebody that means you're not praying for them enough mm -hmm. you know what I mean because there's no way you wow. can be angry and, and continue to you know and, and be bitter with somebody that you're constantly praying for exactly you wow. know what I mean like I was telling you guys earlier that like you know when it comes to my ex I did go through a divorce and you know it, it was it, it it was a it was a uh, uncomfortable circumstance. I'll just put it like that. You know what I mean? It caused some it caused some hurt, it caused some pain. Um but um I learned much through that process. You know what I mean? I it, it drove me closer to God. It allowed me to see myself in a different perspective and it allowed me to experience God in a whole nother kind of way. Um but I was saying I, I pray for my ex every day. Every day. Nice. You know what I mean? I'm wow. constantly lifting her up in prayer. God. And it's not for me. In a sense, you know what I mean? It's for her, but at the same time, it helps it me. It is for you, right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. But that's not the mindset of right. going into exactly. it, you know what I for mean? Sure. It's, for it's sure. like, you know, I'm going to lift her up, you know what I mean? And whoever else, if people, you know, got something to say, they talking about me or whatever, I'm going to pray for them too. Right. You know what I mean? Because sometimes God will place you around people that truly just don't like you, but because you got love and, you know what I mean, you walk in that place of love, that, that authoritative love, you know what I mean? You can love them even though... You know how they truly feel about you. You know what I mean? And I just believe that is a place that God can put us into, place us into as we spend time with him. And we allow him to, you know, work on our hearts and 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 clear away, you know, all of the, you know, all of the residue. I like yeah, you man, say residue, you right? Yeah, right. man. That's, that's been my whole life, man. Yeah. Being around people that don't like me. That's like my story. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my whole hey. life story, man. I just... <laughs> 
Hey man, the Bible Amen. says, man, that 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 if everybody does like you, you know what I'm right. saying? You're a there's an issue. Yeah, right. there's an issue. Wrong, right? You know what I mean? Come so on. when you're really walking with the Lord, man, and you're really, you know, standing <laughs> on truth, you gotta expect, man, people to not, you know, agree with you and to not, you know, think highly of you. Amen. No matter how Amen. anointed you is. I, I feel better now. Else. I don't know about everybody. Thank you, that might well, be a yeah. problem. Okay. <laughs> not everybody. Let, let me let me reword that. Some people. Some people will celebrate you and support right. you. I got yeah, a lot of yeah. people, man, that I know they truly, you know, got my back and you know what I mean? And I can, you know, say that they are really my friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, but then at the same time, you know, there's the others. Bless God. <laughs> All right, man, let me get a scripture real quick and then we're going to, uh, because man, this hour is going by quick. And then we're going to, uh, I want you to share how people can actually purchase the book. Yes. Amen. But uh, scripture right now is Psalms 51, 1 through 1, 1 through 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Have mercy on me, O Lord, according to your steadfast love according to your abundant mercy blot out my transgressions wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin and so the topic is forgiveness but the most desperate need we that that we have as humans is for god to forgive us yes, right. and we serve a forgiving and a loving god you know what i mean and so the the cry uh tonight is accept it accept the forgiveness the 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 forgiveness that you're crying out for come on even if you don't even know you need it right there's something in the back of your mind there's something in your subconscious telling you i need to be forgiven yes. i need to get right with god and once we're right with god that will help us to be right with each other you're you're able to forgive your brothers, your sister, your mom, your dad, uh, you know, anything like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to share, you know, put some word on it. You know what I mean? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, man, can I say something real quick? Because you just brought something back to remember. So I'm going to make it real fast. Um, I remember, man, when um, I had came to the Lord and um, I learned about the forgiveness of God. Um, I'm telling you, it took me at least three months mm. to accept this forgiveness because right. I couldn't understand how he was able to forgive, forgive me you, right. for the things that I had did. It just made no sense to me. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? So it yes. took me a couple wow. months to actually receive that forgiveness. Like I struggled so hard with it, you know what I mean, for those first few months. And then God finally broke through. You know within me and i was able to accept that forgiveness and i was able to, to to experience that peace you know what i mean and that joy you know what i mean but at that time i was blocking my own right. i was blocking the peace and the joy of god because i it, i struggled with accepting his forgiveness you know what i mean for the things that i had did wrong you know what i mean so i don't know i just think somebody may have needed to hear that right, you know right. what i mean that maybe you're struggling you know what i mean with accepting the forgiveness that comes from god because it just doesn't make sense to you because maybe you've done some things that are just horribly wrong you know what i mean but you got to know that no matter what you've done you know what i mean no matter what you've done god is a God of mercy and forgiveness. And if you just Hallelujah. accept that forgiveness, I'm telling you that 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 weight, that cloud will lift up from your head. You know what I mean? And 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 the depression and the anxiety and the, and all that stuff that you experience from rejecting the forgiveness of God will leave you and you'll be able to experience the peace and the joy of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you feel like it was a uh, um the reason you couldn't it really accept it was because maybe you thought the intent behind it was something other than his love for you like you know how sometimes you know we feel like why are people doing this you know like why are you you know giving this to me or why are you you know trying to be nice to me you know what i'm saying because a lot of times we you know we don't see we can't see past the brokenness or the hurt from our past you know so when somebody good tries to come you know we kind of push away from it um because it's, it's like no nah, you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. why are they doing that you know mm -hmm. so was it was it that reason you know what I'm saying um I know you were saying because of the stuff that you done you know it was so horrible but also mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I'm just feeling like it might have been also like what's God's intent you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like what well, Mm, and you know coming from the streets you think like that right right that's what i'm saying it's like, like what you mentality. being this good to me for right what you really got going on here god you know right. what i'm saying <laughs> right 
right, right, right. Um, you know, that could have been my issue, but I think more so with me, it was um, because I just didn't grow up in an environment where forgiveness and stuff was right. presented. Wow. You know what okay. I mean? So, you know, I, I think it was more so just, you know, um, not understanding or, able or, or ever experiencing um, forgiveness like that from an actual person. You know what I mean? So now I, I have a, a a supernatural being as exactly. God, right. you know what I mean? That the creator of heaven and earth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. That wants to forgive me, you know what I mean? But I've never experienced that kind of forgiveness from an actual person, you know what I mean? So I, I think it kind of had a lot more to, to kind of do with, with that aspect of the matter, you know what I'm saying? That this was just something that was foreign to me and I wasn't raised up in an environment like that that i was raised up around you know we hold on to unforgiveness you know what i mean we retaliate right you know what i'm saying we 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 go to we go to the grave with it mm. you know what i mean yeah. so you know so it, it just it was it was uh the whole opposite of what you know i had he was trying to teach you right you know what i, I had been growing up around so mm. it was a challenge but um you know I was able to get understanding and it was really just reading the word of God and, you know, spending time in prayer um, and experiencing the love of God. You know what I mean? Because when you're not loved mm -hmm. as a as a child, as a, a growing up, you know, correctly, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <clears throat> Sometimes we can go into our relationship with God with that same kind of mindset. You know what I mean? And we don't um, allow God to love us and we don't you know um, see God as the way he desires to see us because we're still seeing him from a lens right. you know what I mean that's connected to our past Ooh, you see what I'm yeah. saying yeah right. yeah yeah that's so we just gotta word. ask God, God give me a new pair of eyes right. to see you right good word. Good yeah word. yeah yeah well real quick my brother real quick man this is being great and I have to tell you it is easy to do a show with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I can like sit back and just put it on cruise control. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, this is it's flowing. This is cool. So uh, tell everyone how they can get a copy of your book yes. and and uh, you know how much it costs and all that good stuff. Amen. Amen. Bless mm -hmm. God. Um, so um, the book is on Amazon right now. You can go on Amazon and you can just type in my name, Lake Davis, and you will see the book there. It's the call of the life and preparation of a man called by God. You can also um, pull up my website, which is lakedavis.org, um, where you will see a link there that you can tap onto and that will lead you to Amazon as well. Once again, that's lakedavis.org. And I believe that's the easiest way, you know what I mean, to grab it is just hitting the website up. Um, and, and it's only 10 bucks. It's only 10 bucks. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm, you know, it's really for, you nice. know, the, the people, you know what I mean? It's not about making a bunch of money and, you know, cause I can easily charge $25 for it if I wanted to, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> right. you know, I'm sure it's got some good quality in there for sure. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. For I sure. mean, man, it, I put my blood, sweat and tears in that book. You know what I mean? I paid for the publishing, you know what I mean? And, you know, I had it all professionally done and everything. So, you know, it's a quality book. Um, and I believe when God has you do things, he has you do it with excellence. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, no matter what the return is going to be on it, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's about, it's, it's about, forward. yeah, it's about, and it's about, you know, representing the kingdom. For sure. For you sure. know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's only 10 bucks, you know what I mean? So, you know, grab a couple of them, you know, Christmas right. is coming up, Pass you know out, what I mean? Right. Put them up under the Christmas tree. Right. You may have some nephews, some, no some, some of them hard head nephews, you know what I mean? That, that don't, you know, that, that don't want to do right, you know, and <laughs> you, could, you could put that up under the Christmas tree, you know, you may have a, a daughter or, you know, a niece or something, you know, that, that may be going in the wrong direction. You know, I, <laughs> I'm just telling you right now from the stuff that I touch on in that book from, you know, prostitution to, you know, pimping and pandering to drug addiction. Wow. And then you get to see the transformation, yes. you know what I mean, at the same time. So I start at my, my, my BC, right? My before Christ years, right? And then <laughs> right. it goes over into my in Christ years. So right. you get to actually see how... I went through all this and then I, I walked into this place of, of transformation, you know what I mean, where God began to take over my life. And, and God had me to be very transparent. So I'm not holding things back. Some of you are going to know me better than, you know, a lot of close people know me, you know what I mean, after reading the book, you know what I'm saying? And that's the way God wanted it to be Amen. so people can really get the fullness of what, you know, what it is that he is trying to get through to them and you know what he wants to do in their lives but once again it's at a uh, lake davis.org 
or you could just pull it up on Amazon, type in in Lake Davis. Absolutely. Amen. Nice. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Well, uh, Bree, do you have any final comments? Yes, I do. Just shout out, man. Shout out to Jesus on today. That's what I want to shout out, man. We mm-hmm. typically shout out other people. I want to shout out the Lord on today because mm-hmm. he's just been so good. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag forgiveness. forgiveness. Hashtag self transformation. And hashtag answer the call, man. Answer the Come call. On. <laughs> Come on, answer that. Hashtag thank you, uh, Blake, you know what I'm saying, for coming out and just being an amazing guest, you know, being amazing, you know, uh, sharing the word and just sharing his life with us, you know what I'm saying, and giving us hope, encouraging us all that we can go through the process, no matter what, and God's got our back. So, man, I'm, I'm just grateful. Nice show. Hey, Jones. Yes, 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 bum brother. Go ahead and share some final comments, bro. Amen. Amen. I bless you guys as well, man. It's always good coming on here and, uh, you know, just uh, sharing, you know, my heart with the people and, you know, being in the presence of two mighty men and women of God like yourselves. You know, it's a blessing. And um, I just uh, I I thank God for the ministry. And, you know, for those that are watching, you know, continue to stay connected, man. There's a lot of good things that's, you know, come into this ministry here. And, you know, I'm sure you can click on here and, you know, here's some things that's going to encourage you and motivate you in your walk, you know, with where you are right now these both of them is some good folks i I know them personally you know what i mean they some good folks man they love the lord you see what i'm saying they love the lord and that's what this is about you know hishopnation.com you know what i mean it's about glorifying god you know and that's what we're here for so y'all be encouraged family be encouraged i'm sure i'll be back Yes, you sound like Don't Absolutely. mind having me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh Absolutely. man, you family, you bro. Have <laughs> you you a fixture now. You part of the furniture. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. I'm gonna bring a name tag and put it on my chair next time. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm talking about, man. Man, I really appreciate you. That's uh, brother Lake Davis. Yes. I tell you, uh, like you said, I know him personally. Um, I've been able to spend some time with my brother and I know he, he just loves the Lord and everything that he's pushing everything that he's doing uh, he mentioned that he does graphic designs man do you want to give a shout out tell the people where they can go see your stuff and also uh, hire you for their next uh, graphic project amen. amen amen yes I am a graphic designer and if you need some design work business cards banners flyers logos whatever it may be concerning graphic design you can reach me um, by going to my Facebook page um, you can pull a Facebook slash um, level up that's L E V E L U P um, G S 2020 that's level up GS 2020 just pull that up in your Facebook and uh, my page will come up right there you can see a lot of my work I put a portfolio on there and everything so you can see what I'm doing and I got some great play prices some great deals it's all 100% professional yes. and everybody loves working with me they say I'm, I'm so easy to work with so bless God <laughs> bless God all right, so yeah hit me up hit me up I'll take care of you hey nice yes yes he's done some work for me and I will testify the brother's good my brother's good. He oh, knows Lord. what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Amen. Yes, Lord. Praise God. All right, y'all. Well, at this time, we're going to go ahead and uh, close out. We had a great time uh, with my brother up in here. Uh, definitely, definitely, man. You, This is an open door policy for you, bro. Whenever you want to jump on here, you got anything you want to promote, just let us know, and we will fit you right in. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right, y'all. Well, this is the His Hop Radio Podcast. Make sure you check out the His Hop Radio Network. Uh, We have 20-plus radio stations that we're partnering with. They are across the country, all the way from New York to to California. So we need y'all's support, man. We need you to support what's positive. We are a positive force in media. We are all about pushing the kingdom, and we need to get this into everybody's hands so make sure you download that his our radio app h-i-s-h-o-p in your app store check us out on our website his like subscribe do all that good stuff and remember it's not about us it's all about the christ that is in us see y'all on the next show the lord willing y'all